Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, I'm Nick and this is Sarah and with our two little dogs, we're usually traveling around Europe in our 32 year old camper van. But this year, for the second year in a row, we've decided to come back to the UK. Yes, we are mad. In last week's vlog, it was time to get back to work and start vlogging again after a much needed break over the festive period spending time with our family. Our first night back on the road was spent in the car park of a luxury spa hotel where we even managed to use the facilities. Then we didn't travel too much further before finding a great pub stop where we ended up staying for a few days to ease back into van life. Good evening guys and welcome back to the channel and we pick you up where we laugh. Laugh? Last. Last <laughs> left you. Start again. We pick you up where we last left you here in Malvin at the Swan Inn pub. We've been here for how many nights? Oh, three. three. And we're staying one more night, so we thought we'd just start the vlog now because we are about to go into this lovely pub and have nice Sunday roast. I've got so many nice things on the menu, and we're just easing back into van life, and this is going to be our last sort of meal out for a little while and last pint last <laughs> ale most importantly because we're going on a detox <laughs> that's if they're still serving by the way yes, so we let's need, get we need in and leave. you know what the vlog's always going to be good when it starts off with food let's face it thank you that's heavy what you got in there all our camera gear <laughs> <laughs> and the good thing about this pub is the doggies can come with us yeah, you love it in this pub, don't you? The nice warm fire. Oh, yeah. It gets dark so early, doesn't it, still? All locked up? No. no. That's one of the things I love most about the UK is the lovely little country pubs and the finest ales that Britain has to offer. Good morning guys and today we've woken up and it's a lot colder than it has been um, and we're finally leaving this car park. We had a lovely meal in the pub last night, lovely nut roast and what was yours? A Mushroom Wellington. Mushroom Wellington, great food. So I highly recommend this place guys, you know you can obviously sleep in the car park here, you can have a lovely meal in the pub and uh, all good. So we're heading off now, we're going south. Yeah we're heading back to the Cotswolds. First things first, we need to get the van started. Memory driven for a few days so um go on go on that'll be a no then doing the thing with the glow plugs yeah we only had this battery a year haven't we i know destroyed this cold a, weather destroyed a battery in a year <laughs> Three's a magic number, right? Yeah, always. Right, let's get Vinny's Christmas present out. Green light is on, meaning it's ready to rock and roll. This little bit of kit is fantastic. We used it the other day and it just worked a treat. Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha, magic. So yes, the second time this little beauty has saved our butts, but we're going to continue to test it because it does look like our battery is knackered now. I mean, what a brilliant piece of kit. Thought we'd treat Vinny as he's had a few issues, so Well, yeah. we didn't actually treat him. Someone yeah. actually sent us it, but we'll tell you more about that later on. Goodbye, thanks for having us. It's like we've moved in. It's like we've moved in. The last few weeks we've stayed at a few locations for a few days and sort of settled in and made ourselves at home. Um, so sad to be leaving, it's like saying goodbye to the final sort of festivities because this is where we spent, you know, the last time with family and stuff. But 
Anyway, back to travelling. Anyway. So a quick loo and a quick supply stop at Morrison's before we head south to the Cotswolds. Bread, water, kitchen roll. Bread, water, kitchen roll. for the diesel heater. Job's a good one. I'll keep us going for a few days. Seven pounds for heat for three days. the Cotswolds, yeah! And we are heading up to the Broadway Tower. So guys, we have just arrived at a little car park, a little free car park, um, which is about a 15 minute walk from the Broadway Tower, which we want to go and see to get the nice views over hopefully several villages of the Cotswolds. Now we did read that the car parking for the tower is a bit of a rip-off. So uh, uh, as usual. As usual. So so we thought, well, this is perfect actually. This little car park here, there's loos over there. And we do want to get a bit like motivated and get some yeah. exercise. But first. You ready for a really muddy walk? Oh God. Wait. <laughs> Wait, Dizzy. Let's go down the edge. Best part about the UK this time of year, isn't it? All that mud. Just stay on the edge. And both dogs decided to come with us. Dizzy was wrapped up in bed and we thought, oh, okay, we'll leave him here. He's cold. And then last minute he jumped out and he was raring to go. So we're all on the little walk walking down the edge of this really muddy lane up to the tower. Last year, it was just muddy everywhere. Obviously, we went on loads of hikes last year. This year, we haven't done so much. And I forgot how goddamn muddy it is everywhere. All we've done this year is been in breakdown situations and then obviously spending time with family. I mean, we did the Lake District. We did a bit of Wales. And um, oh, and, we, and then it was frozen, frozen oh, in the, the frozen, frozen down in the forest of Dean, the Y Valley. I'm not going to complain about the frost anymore because the frost is good because it makes everything crunchy. Solid, yeah, exactly. is not too bad though, darling. This isn't right. too. You know, we are not moaning. Do not think this is moaning. Slow coach. I'm all blinking tangled up. How's that on me? Oh, it's a dog's lead, isn't it? Well, this blinking thing, drone, it's really, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really long, so it's hard to walk quick. So can you just tighten that for me? I've got myself into right oh, kerfuffle. What's you do it? That's it. But it's all, st it's stuck around that. This is fun, isn't it? There we go. You know, that's uh, the thing is, the winter, you have to wear loads of layers and stuff, and then you feel really bulky. You know what you mean? I can hardly hear anything. I've got this woolly hat, one hoodie, and the hoodie of this. So, you know, we can't have a proper conversation while we're walking. And Sarah's and, in her usual, like, seven layers or something. Again, we're not I mean, moaning about this. No, we're not, Just like no. we weren't moaning about the mud. See, the mud, the thing is with the mud, 
I don't I'm sure mind. people have experienced mud before. Yeah, but when you've got a van the, same, the size yeah, of ours yeah. and we're running low on water, you need water to clean the dog's feet. You can't just let him jump in the van. So it's like, right, do we have a cup of tea later or do we have mud in the van and not clean the dog's feet? And we've got loads of rugs and carpet. It's just, it's not good with mud, is it? People say, why did you get carpet? When we're in the UK, we think, yeah, why did we get carpet? <laughs> Sand is all right. Because the van came with carpet and then our old carpet got destroyed so we replaced it with new carpet. But sand's all right isn't it? You go to a beach say in Spain or something and sand's all right you just brush it away. So what you say we should put a load of sand in the van? No! <laughs> <laughs> like a big kid sand pit. Oh nice one darling. Straight through that gate. Yeah! You're right, Dan. You're still struggling with that bag, aren't you? The thing is, the boys are really enjoying themselves, so that's the main thing. Even if Nick and I aren't. Good boy. Good boy. Good Just boy. spied some sheep ahead, so you know. Darling, don't say that. Dizzy's still not on the lead. Well, Diz Diz here. Dizzy doesn't usually chase him. It's Charlie that wants to play. Come here, then, Diz. Come here, Diz. Come here. Stay. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Someone's spotted the sheep now. There they are, aren't they, Charlie? Any farm animals, Charlie wants to play. Dizzy wants to bark at. So we can see the tower ahead, and from here it looks pretty impressive with the clouds and how the sun is today. So let's get a bit closer. Which way go? Go, 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 go. That's it, that's it. Good boy. Keep going. There we go. It's a bit tight. Go on, Diz. isn't it from a distance it looks like I thought it looks like a ruin but when you get here it's not a ruin at all is it <laughs> stay here darling <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's enjoying themselves. <laughs> so this is the Broadway Tower with pretty impressive views. It's about £12 to go up there. Um, I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think they're going to let us take two little mucky dogs up there. Who have just gone crazy because of the wind and the cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like They've a lost the plot. <laughs> I don't think dogs are allowed in there. Charlie loves the cold. <laughs> and it's it's 24 pounds for both of us. Now, I'm sure it's really good views at the top, but it's not, it's not quite it's small, isn't it? It's, it's quite like small. 20, 12 pounds. You'd want a whole castle for that, wouldn't you? Like Conway Castle, whole castle, massive castle, about the same price. This, pretty little folly, a bit fancy. Um, You're not uh, whinging again, are you, darling? No, I'm just saying. I'm going to do it. Why, why go up there for views when you've got a drone? Oh, can you believe it? <laughs> really, really strong winds. The drone is proper struggling and just trying to take a photo and it's just like moving around. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't give a warning. It's crazy, crazy. It's, it's lovely actually. The weather is lovely. I'm enjoying the tingling sensation in my hands. Really thriving. <laughs> Woo! Come on, you nutter. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. We are getting away from this tower. We're doing the walk back to the van because it is absolutely freezing. Isn't it? Pretty cold. Nice views from up here over the surrounding countryside and Broadway, the beautiful little village of Broadway, which we're going to go to in a minute. And you can see lots of other little villages up here. Yeah. 
You see lots of fields and clouds and sheep and all sorts. Now, pretty nice views, but yeah, it's blinking freezing. Oh, so why do we keep going to the UK in winter? No more, no more. And back to the van we go. It's been a while since we've done this. What we do is we go to their old little food bowl, dip their paws in it with service assistance, wet the paws to get the mud off, and then dry the paws. Because the mud gets right in between the nails. Very, very good. See, sure. the front paws are so much easier because they kick with their back paws, don't they? And they kick the water bowl all over you. <laughs> <laughs> and then if necessary, we'll use another fresh little bowl of water. So we are on our ways now to Broadway, the little village, and um, unfortunately it's getting a bit dark. We were hoping to look around the village today and film and do the tower, but as always, everything takes that little bit longer, doesn't it, than you would hope or you think. So we've just pulled into this little um, long stay, or is it, I think it might be short stay. What a long stay or short stay car park here in Broadway and just driving through. You can see why this place is famous, absolutely beautiful. So there's a little um, parking machine over there, which says free parking until further notice. So that's pretty cool. Nice clean toilet block here as well. I think that's open till six. Whether we can stay in this car park or not overnight, we really don't know. And before it gets dark, we're going to have a little wander around, aren't we, love? Yes, we are. Feeling good? Yeah, much better after that walk. Yes. This lovely little car park here, just at the end, end of the high street of Broadway, which is also known as the jewel or the gateway to the Cotswolds. Ooh. It started raining, typical, so this is going to very, be a very little quick tour. We have umbrella, my love, Broadway. do not worry. <laughs> really have run out of time it's getting dark already but to be fair I don't think it's massive I think Broadway is made up of sort of one main high street lined with red chestnut trees and it's got the typical beautiful honey coloured buildings quaint little cottages of the Cotswolds how did you read that? I just read that on you Google just read that, that, didn't you? I know. that didn't come from my mouth obviously <laughs> sounded really good though but no it's um Really pretty, really pretty little town, village. I think it's a population of about 2,600 or something. Oh, I love the little thatched roofs. That's what the Cotswolds is famous for, right? I love it. It reminds of us of France a little bit. Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe it's the, like the very old rustic looking buildings. The stone, what they... The limestone stick. these are made of. Mm. But yeah, it's beautiful. Good morning, sleepies. Mm. And we have woken up today to a very windy and wet day. I could hear it raining. Oh gosh, it sounded like all night. Mm. Um, anyways, we switched car parks last night. We're in a long stay car park. Um, good night's sleep, no dramas. Um, but now we're about to get up and go back to the original car park because not just because that was free parking but because it's nicer closer to town great loose how are you feeling my darling oh rested i sleep so well in the van in it's cold and miserable outside a 13 tog duvet this red blanket it's just oh it's lovely i actually got a little bit too warm last mm. night let's go let's go well i don't think this is going to start if I was the best man, I'd bet against Vinny. Sorry, Vinny. Should do it twice and then get that thing out again.
that's enough work for the day i think been in the van all day it's been pouring with rain Miserable, um, very, very miserable. miserable. But luckily, we always have lots to do on our laptops, don't we, my darling? Lots of work to do organising our tax because it's the uh, end of year kind of thing. Oh, yes, the dreaded tax. But that's all done now. And uh, yeah, we need to have a little explore because, you know, when you're in the van all day, you get a bit all. Oh, Cabin fever and stuff. We yeah. just need to go, go stretch our legs. But it's still raining, so I think we should leave the doggies here. They've been out for a walk and they're knackered after yesterday's tower walk. Mm. So, do you want to go and have a little look around? Yeah. Wow, this is a really cool building. Massive, huge, very old looking building with all these old trees creeping up the walls. Very, very well, cool. Well, actually, darling, funny yeah. you should say that because this place is very historic and uh, quite special. It's the League on Arms and it actually dates back to 1377. Really, Sarah? Really, Nick? Have you got any more fun facts on it? As a matter of fact, I have. So the League on Arms was originally known as the White Hart back in 1377. The inn played a role in the English Civil War in 1649, serving both sides. Oliver Cromwell stayed here before the Battle of Worcester in 1651. And then Charles I also used it as a place to meet his supporters during the unrest. How cool is that? Wow. I'm blown away by your knowledge, Sarah. Well, I don't know where you, you know get it what? from. You it's just like grab just it out. Stored, isn't she it? just sees buildings, old buildings. We come to a little place and she just like plucks. Plucks the knowledge. This and now it's incredible. obviously, yeah, it's a huge building, isn't it? So now you can stay here. It's a hotel, it's got a spa, there's several bars, restaurants, and the, the pub type bit at the front as well. It looks very, very nice. So it a huge area, uh, gated here as you walk in. You can imagine the old stage coaches coming in here with all the horse-drawn carts and that. Uh, I think we just got to the end of it all back. The bedrooms look very nice. Just have a little sneaky peek through. Not staying here, darling. Back to van life now. Definitely quite a posh place because look at this. There's even like outside showers for your dogs with warm water. Warm water I know. Mollies. Check that out. In fact, darling, spa showers. As how well. many days did you say it's been since we've had a warm shower, <laughs> me and you? I'll get under there. <laughs> <laughs> We'd go and have a cheeky little ale in there, but um, it's January now, so we're on detox, unfortunately. From the 10th of January, Nick and I started on the detox, our little health kick, back to fasting, back to. Uh, well, that's it, really. Look at this. So this is the front of the, the the inn. Look at this tree. I mean, that itself looks like it's hundreds and hundreds of years old. It does look something like, uh, like something out of Harry Potter's as well, like a little magic tree growing up the side of the building. So we're not going to go for an ale, but let's go and have a little look around anyway. Real wonder, check it out. Wonder. Let's go and have a look. How cool was that? It's like you're stepping back in time. Very, you, very nice. You could proper picture it being used like hundreds of years ago during the Civil War and everything, like all the little narrow corridors, little fireplaces and like the works of art and things out on the walls and the stuff. The antlers of the, the chandelier antlers yeah. kind of thing in the dining room. It did feel a little bit like we weren't supposed to be in there, wasn't it? Mm. And a few funny looks. Not really dressed for it, I haven't got the right type of hat. It's quite I? posh, very posh, but yes, very nice. We can do posh, but not today. But um, yeah. Speak for yourself. Well worth a wander around though, if you can get away with it. It is. Very, very pretty everywhere, isn't it? I should live in a little place like this. I mean, it's quite small, but everywhere you look, it's just beautiful, isn't it? It's just got this like main street, the high street. Yeah. And then, yeah, little alleyways coming off it. Found a really interesting building down here. Next stop, the man cave, whatever that is. This 
place is so cool. Sorry, Mick, I think your man cave has just been beaten. I mean, there's I so many. I don't know, there's, oh, there's pool table, there's crazy lights, these amazing pictures, arcade machines, skateboards. Incredible. But it's very, very expensive. A little bit pricey, a little bit I pricey. don't know if I can treat you to anything from here, darling. Maybe a little, little badge. I think this has to be. That is one just of my all, um, what do you call it? Just all nuts, right? Whole really, really cool. The tail. How, how much is that one? It's the table, isn't it? It's a table, yeah. so it's... I'm not sure. This is 185, but I think it'd be more than that. I think the 185 sticker has fallen off the light. There's lots of good stuff, but this is so cool, don't you think? What looks just like a flag. Upwards to the girl cave. This is going to be rubbish. <laughs> Look, I've had to walk around the man cave, so you can come and have a look in the girl cave. Is this going to have flowers and makeup and stuff, is it? Well, actually, that is a bit of a letdown, isn't it, compared to downstairs man cave? Makeup and stuff, <laughs> flowers, tiny. Like flowers, key rings. Oh, there's your favourite. Quite cool, isn't it? Quite like the peacock, but yeah. Not much of a girl cave, really, compared to downstairs. Girls in caves don't really go, do they? No, Ooh, girls are scared that. of caves. <laughs> so guys, I think we're actually going to risk it and stay in this car park, the short stay car park. Will we get away oh, with it? Oh, we'll find out next week. <laughs> I'm leaving you with a, a horrible little cliffhanger. Gosh, exciting, it's like, isn't it? It's so miserable, isn't it? And it's like so quiet. I don't think anyone's going to tell One us little off tiny here. camper. So that's what anything. we're doing. So find out next week if we get sent to jail or not. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to end the vlog now. But before we do, we thought we'd just best mention um, Vinny's little Christmas present we got. Oh, uh, yes. Funny story. Tell it real quick, we're just about to buy one of these jump starters after the issues we had in the freezing conditions a little while ago. We'd actually put one in our Amazon basket and then we got an email from these guys who said, oh, would you like to test out one of our products? We said, <gasps> yes, please. So the one that we had in the Amazon basket wasn't this make, it was another make. We didn't know what to, which one to get, actually. There's loads on Amazon. So as with everything, there's so much choice. We were just about to <laughs> order it. We, an email popped up and said, would you like to try our product? And it's exactly, you know, it's very similar to the one you know one we were going to buy in fact this one is more powerful this one does like up to six, six litre million. diesel engines and eight litre gasoline engines it's got like a flashlight on it and it's, it's got two usb things like a power station quick charge it's... um for usb c and we've used it as you see in the video three times and it's still on a hundred percent i mean it's pretty what what more do you need i think i don't know how we survive so long without it because it, it's just brilliant it means you don't have to rely on someone else to stop a hero to stop and and jump start you and make sure your jump cables are right that you've got them connected up properly and as you've seen it's so easy so to easy. use how we've been using the video so we really recommend this one and this one's i think 99 pounds on bargain, absolutely so bargain. we'll leave the link in the top of the description box if you guys are interested in having another look at this and and uh you know maybe you want one of these because it is a lifesaver it's one of our like best things in the van now isn't it yeah. this video is not sponsored by these guys no. but they did send us this one to test out to let you guys know what we think anyway that's what we think it's really blinking yeah good. anyway we need to end this vlog um so take care guys make sure you follow us on our other socials and you're subscribed and we shall see you all next week thanks take for care, watching guys. guys bye go good Oh, stuck. Boys, That's enough. Interesting little game. <laughs>